don't be mad. I, I'm, I'm not gonna replace you, Black Betty, but I, I got an idea. Just don't hate me. I'll still use you a lot. Just sorry, Black Betty. What is up, Mavfers? Welcome to the uh, the frozen tundra. Myself and Coleslaw are just enjoying this beautiful 35 degree raining, windy, nasty day, uh, as you saw from the video title and description. Today, we are going to pick up a, uh, a new boat. We're gonna go try to find a new boat. Now, obviously, we got Black Betty, the super overpriced, beautiful black bass boat back behind me, and so the reason I'm getting a different boat is I have an idea of something I want. That we'll have to talk about as we kind of go through the store and stuff. We're gonna go pick it up. We're gonna, I don't even know what I'm buying. We're just gonna go to the store and freaking go buy one right now. We're gonna get a boat that's gonna serve a different purpose. For those of you that have been watching my last few pond fishing videos, you we know what I'm talking about. It's gonna be a little itty bitty mini style boat that you're probably gonna see us film a whole bunch of footage in, but me and Cole Slaw grew up fishing in little tiny ratty boats like this. We're from Nebraska and in this area, we have a ton of little ponds that are like too small to have boat ramps or anything, but don't have the best bank access, whether it's a lot of trees around them or they're all silted in. And a little tiny boat is gonna be exactly what we freaking need. So love you, Black Betty. But for now, we're gonna go pick one up, go get hopefully exactly what we want. We're gonna trick it out a little bit. And then in this rain, snow sleep mixture we're gonna hopefully go put it on the water and maybe catch a fish or two probably catch a fish or two i hope to catch a fish or two let's go also very exciting news before we head to the store to pick up a boat i got this beautiful oh so stop this black sexy pouch you might be wondering what's inside this maybe you've seen my videos in the past but it has a whole sack of tackle right here this is the march six sack the premium little sack right here cole let's show them what's inside this thing So yeah, I mean, you get all those beautiful, sexy baits, you get an awesome velvety sack, and if you use my promo code MFSUPER6, you can save money and get this the cheapest possible on your very first sack. I mean, if you don't like it, just cancel the subscription, but go pick one of these guys up. I'll, I'll link at the top of the description. You know, I had that aluminum boat a while back, but the reason that I decided to get rid of that one was I got rid of my truck, and then I didn't want to get a trailer because I have nowhere to store a trailer. So I don't have anywhere to store a trailer with the boat on it. We need something that'll fit on or in the Tahoe, that boat didn't fit inside the Tahoe. So I ended up selling that boat. A lot of you guys have been asking about that. Let's go measure that and uh, see how big a boat we can fit in there. Well, these can leave. Here's all the baits that I got left over from the swap meet. Thanks for you guys that came out. It was so sick to meet all you guys. There's my Girl Scout cookies that I paid a hundred bucks for. Um, okay, so we're obviously, we're not gonna have a boat that's gonna fit lengthwise in here. It's gonna hang out the back. I'm a redneck, so I don't really care about that. That works great for me. So lengthwise, looks like we're working on about to the edge of the car here. I mean, if we're getting something that's gonna fit inside the car, it's gonna have to be 64 inches, which is just over five feet. That's impossible. To the edge of this guy, we're looking at about a little bit over six feet. So if we got a 10 foot boat, that's gonna come back to about right here as far back as it will go. And then maybe we'll just crunch it down like that. We'll put a little strap around. Yeah, we're good, that's no big deal. Another big thing, this is why the, the aluminum boat wouldn't fit in here. And don't mind the, the nastiness here. We've been out freaking ice fishing and stuff. So we got pebbles and stuff everywhere. About 49 and a quarter to 49 and a half inches. And some wiggle room. Now a little bit of wiggle room. Looks like wiggle room to me, coleslaw. All right, that's our measurements. That's what we're going with. I should just buy another storage unit. Maybe we could buy an abandoned storage unit, Cole. And instead of having to figure out how to go catch fish, we'll just make easy videos to get more views doing abandoned storage unit videos because it's a lot easier. I don't know, we'll see. Well, here we are. Stop number one out in the rain. We're at the uh, Ass Pro Shops Outdoor World. We're gonna try to see, I don't know if they have any mini boats here. I know they got John boats and stuff, but let's see what their selection looks like. Funny that people give Zach so much shit about the stuff that he puts in his aquarium when it's just like, you go to Bass Pro Shops and it's just assumed that it's okay to put every type of native species that's ever been found in one little conglomeration of hardly any covered. 
buddy? I'm not sure about the bow. I think I could hit that one. Probably not. Probably not. You'd miss. I think I could do one. Hi, buddy. Just wait for what? This is what we need, Cole. Look at the bathtub. The 19 skin. This here in Nebraska. Ooh, here we go. You know what? It's, it's just in a pedestal scene. We could get one of these for the boat, for the cojones. <laughs> All right, Cole, regardless of what boat we end up getting, we're getting that 300 per hour. Dude, look at the freaking graph on this thing. It's a little baby graph. <laughs> Dude, I would need binoculars to see the graph from the driver's seat. It's like a three inch screen. <laughs> it has a cover. It has a cover on it, yeah. This boat has all sorts of things wrong with it. If you're in the market for a new boat and you decide to get a 16 foot fiberglass boat that has worse features than any aluminum boat that's half the weight or less, I just don't understand what you're doing with your life. I really do think the best feature is probably the coil spring seats. Anything? Yep, a little bit. Oh yeah, control for crap style. Four <laughs> odds and chance, fiber rig. Then say hi to come right up here. All right. Where's your favorite place to go fishing? Anywhere but here. Yeah, I already got a bass boat. We're going to buy a little plastic boat, too. Ben Mellican, M-I-L-L-I-K-E-N. This is everything that we went over. Okay. They're going to ask you how I did here today. Would there be any reason you could give me a tip? No. Okay, Maybe an you. 11. Thanks, Perfect. Amy. Thank have you, fun. Tammy. Thank you. Yes! Now we have a $150 write-off, but we're going to get a bunch of money back. <laughs> what do you think about paddle boat? Dude, they got the dolphin. This is the exact boat we've been using. And it's 500 bucks. Oh, I forgot my tape measure. This is the one. 48 inches wide, check. 103 inches long, I gotta do the math, but probably maybe check. 550 pound capacity, I'm gonna have to lose 100 pounds. There's a Pelican one too. See, this gives us a little bit more space. I'll oh, do look, they have really good oars too. Mini oar for our mini boat. How many do you need, probably four or five? Probably. <laughs> So it's called the 10E. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably 10 feet. Eight foot would fit in the Tahoe a lot better. Eight foot would fit in the Tahoe a lot better. And like it would fit. Better. It would fit in skinnier water better, which is kind of the purpose of getting the small boat. This is the biggest thing to me with this boat. I already have my hand control trolling motor, right, which clamps on. So I would prefer a foot control trolling motor, but I don't think there's enough room to put a pedal here and run it. But this is wired right here, so we can have a trolling motor in the front. But how are you going to have a hand control trolling motor in the front? unless you're making it go backward. Regardless, I think we're going with the dolphin. You know what though? We're gonna need names from MFers. We got names for the last boat, which sorry, I didn't take it seriously and I sold it. This one we're not selling. We're gonna use this son bitch until it freaking sinks. So we need name ideas for the dolphin and we're gonna need ideas for how we can trick it out because I don't want some boring ass gray boat that says sun dolphin on the side. I want it thugged out. <laughs> We can put some rims on it. We got a sound system in here. We got wiring. That's what we can plug in the front. Oh, well, that's what it's for. It's for a fish finder, isn't it? Probably. It's for, it's for a graph. Yes, that's actually badass because I have a graph. We're going to put on this. So we'll put the graph up here, trolling motor in the back. So I get the graph and you get the trolling motor. Yes. All right, Cole. Grab the boat. Let's go. All right, we definitely need accessories now. The main one being an anchor. Even though we're going to have a trolling motor, don't want to be caught out there without a damn anchor. And a lot of you guys were also talking about life jackets. We will be taking life jackets. I have those at the house. How many pole holders are we going to need? 10, 12? At least four. You think this is overkill? Good size, I bet. Half the size of the boat. Don't freaking sink the boat trying to pull it up. Look at this guy. It's about perfect. It's just a chode guy. He's like, meh. That's interesting. I think Do It has a mold for this. It's weird. I like it because it's weird, but I don't think that's what we're going to go with. 15 pounder. This is an eight pounder, but it's rubber coated and it's seven dollars more. That's what they call it Ask Pro Shop School. Actually, I don't think anyone calls it that, just me. Let's get the little guy for 20 bucks. We already got a free trip. We can afford a little bit bigger anchor. Does it come with a grabber? All right, now we gotta tell this nice gentleman over here that we'd like to take the doll. Question for you, sir. Yes. We would like to purchase this guy. Okay. Take the screw out. Yep. Take the head off. Okay. Rotate it around so you can drive. Okay. Got it. We got a boat too. We yeah, bought we, a, we bought a trip. We did. We sure did. And we got a gift card for it. Oh my land, huh? Hello! Let's get it! Hi there. Hi there. 
Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all have a great day. We, we will. As well. We're gonna go rip some lips. There you go. This is the best day of my life, Cole. That's not level. How? Like a glove. All right, Cole. Now I need you to stand back here. <laughs> Can you handle that? The whole way home, on the interstate. Whole slot's getting back there. Pissed off millennials. <laughs> there we go. Just got down to the lake. Honestly, I don't know how we feel about catching them today. It's literally 35 degrees, rainy, cloudy. Biting conditions for, you know, like the summer and stuff, but I don't know how these fish are gonna like this since it's March. But um, water's cold, rain's colder, turn into snow. It's a daggum maiden voyage. I'm turn, you ready, cool sloth? We got our trolling motor. We need our battery and fishing stuff and chairs and stuff and we'll be ready, let's go. All right. In, and pushed it off, it's gone. <laughs> oh, it's perfect, there's a Mountain Dew can right here and everything. All right, that's good for now. I guess we can put the trolling motor in the back. Careful, don't get it wet in here. There we go. Did you break them? I'm tilted backwards and cramping up, Cole. Here we go. Wrong way, nope, oh, definitely the wrong way. Beauty. And it's hailing. Here we are. It is hailing. It's freaking hailing out here. <laughs> Main voyage. Did you put the plug in, Cole? Woo hoo! Shoo! There may or may not be water coming in. We don't know. But we have a life jacket, so we should be good. This is so fun. If you guys are thinking about a career change, YouTube fisherman. It's fun. You get to go fishing every day. It's great. This watercolor's not bad. I don't know what the fucking weather, but watercolor's not bad. All right, cool. Timmy anchor. Put it down. Yeah, Cole, just start ripping, dude. By start ripping, I meant I'm using this jerk bait that's tied on. You figure your own out. It's all about 10 feet in the middle everywhere. We just want to get right here and anchor and fish where this water's coming in. Well, guys, I don't know how much water is on the lens or, or what. There's freaking hail. And trolling motor was going. Sorry, Cole. It was uh, creating a lot of confusion. But uh, here we are out here, little city pond that I've never put a boat on before. I suppose we're going to jerk bait. Beautiful day. All right, Cole. Either fish with a prawn or tie on a jerk bait or something. Here they are. Let's okay. make it rain. Got some water coming in over here, out here in the middle of the city. People are probably wondering what's wrong with us. I feel like we're either gonna not get a bite or catch the shit out of them. Pull some of that scum in, it'll make you feel like you got something every cast. Is that a fish? It is! I got one, Cole! First fish! Oh no, it's gone! <laughs> wow, that was loud. I was yelling a lot there. Um, that guy ate it like one twitch in. Put a top water on. Buzz bait, Cole. Cole's putting a secret bait on, he says. Look at this freaking hail! This is unbelievable. Good thing I have water resistant coat on. There's one. There's one. I got his ass this time. Yep, that's a big. Bigs only. Cole, I don't want to show this one to you. First fish ever. I love you. Shake it back. Never give up. Sweet. Two casts in a row, Cole. We got them dialed. Dude, it's not even hailing. There's like chunks of fucking precipitation falling from the sky. Look at this shit. There's like snowballs. Those aren't even flakes. They're balls. You seeing this shit, Cole? Dude, this is when old Big's going to make a big mistake. Cole. They're biting. Fire bite. How come we didn't catch a bunch of these ice fishing? I guess we did catch some of the micro ones, didn't we? I didn't even think about that. Oh, we got a new pet. What's gonna be really good is when we electrocute ourselves with this fucking battery. Bye, bud. They sure fight hard when they're that size. Hey, I was gonna tell you too. I think I told you 92 times in the swap meet. I'm fucking elated. You got one, Cole? Well, shit, you could say something, Cole. Oh, God. Slaw's got one. Get him, Slaw. Get him, Slaw, on the pinky. The pink provokes. Small mouth throws. How did you snag it right in his mouth? That's incredible. See that, folks? That's a good old snag there. What type of method did you use to snag him in the mouth? Dude, not again. Just ripping it? You know I'm ripping <laughs> Just it. Just ripping it. Got it. Let's hey, see him, Slaw. Cole's first bass. 
in the sun dolphin. This the dolphin. Which again, looking for names still. Whoever gets the name, yes, wins nothing except pride, maybe. Probably not any pride either. But you'll you'll know that you named it. Water coming over there. Got one. Big one. Heating up. This corner always has good ones. Got his ass. Old big? Old big, dude. Oh, he Ooh. must have come off and a little one got it. Look at that. I pulled a real true coal on that one. Snagged him right in the eyeball. Get him, Cole. Oh, God. I'm trying to mess them up for you. Oh, that's big fish of the day. That's a donk, Cole. Pounder. Yep, that's the dolphin PB. New PB catch. Until tomorrow. Till tomorrow, hopefully. Another little bass on the maiden voyage. Cole, my hands are like freaking purple. It's so freaking cold and windy right now, guys. Excited to get out of here. But hey, the freaking maiden voyage was badass. I love the new little, um, it's not a John boat. Got told by you guys so many times. It's not a John boat. I realize that. It's like a mini boat. What do you guys want us to freaking call it? Mini boat videos? Let us know if you like the mini boat. Hey, comment down below. Let us know what name you think we should call the sun dolphin. The eight and a half foot sun dolphin. I've literally wanted a boat like this for a really long time. I'm so glad we got it so we can explore stuff like this. We even caught some damn fish on our maiden voyage. That six cents provoked jerk bait. I know we've been talking about it a lot lately but it's like if i was if i'm going to the lake it's this cold that's the bait that i'm putting in my hands so you're gonna see a lot of that one i'll link it below again like always i tell you guys use my promo code mf10 and you can save some money on that one of course go check out the super six box like we talked about at the start of this video as well mf super six is my promo code for that one a lot of promo codes and stuff cool and my mouth is like barely moving it's frozen right now let us know though i want to hear from you guys what ideas you have for john boat videos so excited to have it this summer especially i want to catch a giant fish and i think it'd be fun to get towed around cole saw and i were talking about that earlier so hopefully we do that before too long here but we need to get out of here and get some heat thanks so much for watching this one guys out of here